Good morning, welcome back to another race day vlog. Just uh, met my team over here, Chelmsford Athletics Club, We're getting ready to run the Essex um, Championship cross country today. Uh, my race is the men's senior race, which starts in just under an hour's time. We're going to be doing uh, 10k of cross country here today in Basildon. Um, I'm just on the course now. It's also going to be my first race in the Dragonflies. I've put 15 mil spikes on there this morning, um, so it should be nice and ready for the, the hilly sections, the muddy sections. This hill over here behind our tent, um, I believe we have to go up probably three or four times today so yeah nice hilly course um, I'm not gonna be able to take the camera around with me today just because it is so rainy and I don't want to damage it um, but yeah excited to get going gonna do a little bit of a warm-up and then yeah get racing Just finished, came eighth place today, which was really tough with. Um, I actually ran that way, race to heart rate, so I was wearing the heart rate monitor today, and I just kept it around 175, 176 feet per minute. So that's where I know I'm comfortable. I can sort of maintain that effort for a 10k, and yeah, run it completely to my own sort of um, effort level, and ended up in eighth place, which I was really tough with. Um, Zach and David from Chanceford came fourth and seventh, so just in front of me. So you might have a, a shot of getting a, a team prize. Um, they're saying that the top eight will go to Essex to represent Essex at the inter um, counties. So maybe I got an Essex vest, so I have to wait. I didn't get an um, immediate qualification, but maybe I will get one if some people drop out or other people don't go. But yeah, we'll find out in the next few weeks. But yeah, really chuffed with that. Gonna head back to the car now and get warm. Cause you're freezing. Got, got all my clothes on, but. Yeah, I'm still shivering. They're all wet as yeah. well. So. Let's get going. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Do a full race report and we get home. The aftermath. So back from the cross country, take a look at these spikes. These were nice white dragonflies at the start of the day, but I'm going to show you how I clean them. So the first, there's three stages to this. The first stage is just to put them under the um, shower and yeah, try and get as much of the mud off first. 
Maybe. Second stage is to put the fairy um, washing up liquid on and then the third stage is give them a good scrub and you just repeat repeat that process until they're nice and white but I don't know if the leaves are going to ever get back to being white but Ooh. we'll give it a good go. And maybe put the grass outside rather than down your drain. Yes. This is a scrub daddy. Mm -hmm. You can get them for many um, home bargains, I think it is. Yeah, B&M, home bargain. B&M. This was the one we used in the wash, for washing up, but it's now being relegated to <laughs> clean my dirty shoes. So I just finished cleaning the spikes. There we go. They're looking a little bit whiter than they were before. <laughs> Um, I was never going to get them back to their original white colour because they got absolutely caked in mud this morning. Um, but yeah, really good race today. Um, enjoyed having the 15mm spikes on, they definitely gave me a bit more grip. Um, I definitely, for next time, I think I'll change these, the front um, or the rear two for some shorter spikes because there was a, f a few bits on the, on the course where I had to cross bridges and paths which were obviously concrete and yeah, one of the spikes got bent and it was a little bit difficult to run on those. But other than that, the dragonflies were, yeah, really good, especially on the downhills, had plenty of traction with the 15 mil spikes. Um, the plan for the rest of the video is I'm just about to jump on a Zoom call with Cole from Cole Running. Um, he did the Kent uh, Cross Country Championship today um, and I believe he came 11th place. So he did a pr pretty similar performance to what I did today. I just thought it'd be cool to get his insight onto how he got on um, and how maybe the Essex and the Kent um, Cross Country Championships compared. So I'm gonna jump on a Zoom call with him now um, just to do a bit of a race recap and discuss how we got on um, with the race. If you like this cap as well from uh, that I was wearing today, a nice fleece beanie that um, Varga, Team Varga sent to me um, very kindly. I believe these are now available on their websites. They're super warm, perfect for your warm ups. Um, and they also do these running caps, which I, you'll see featuring in my videos all the time. So, yes, thanks to John from Team Varga for sending this lovely orange beanie out. Um, yeah, go have a look at the website. I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, I'm just going to jump on the Zoom call with Cole and see how he got on today at the Kent Cross Country Championship. Hello, mate. Hello, hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, oh, perfectly. Brilliant. How are you doing? How, how did you go? Yeah, it went well, thank you. Um, came eighth place out of a, a pretty strong field today, so I was pretty chuffed with that. Um, a few weeks ago, I did a Essex League cross country and it didn't go so well. I think I came like 43rd and I yeah had a bit of a shocker of a race. So today was all about yeah building back some confidence on the mud and, and had a much better race, thankfully. How about yourself? How did you get on in, in the Kent Champs? Um, so I've just had the results back and I've, I'm officially 11th, which is um, going into the race. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I would have said top eight, but then as soon as I saw the start list and the stacked field, I was I kind of changed to top 20. So 11th, I'm absolutely over the moon with. I think my county takes nine people, so there might be a potential of, of a Kent vest maybe, but I'm not going to be too upset if I if I haven't. But Yeah, I was sort of on the fence as well with whether I'm going to get an Essex vest, because I think six were automatically selected today, and then they said they've got a few reserve places that sometimes they give out to the people who came seventh and eighth so that would be me um but they also can give them to like other big names in the in the county that that, that didn't race maybe we'll we'll meet at the um at the inter counties that, that would be pretty cool we'll get two gopro maybe perspectives i, I didn't wear the insta 360 today uh purely because no. of the rain i just thought it's going to get on the lens and there's not gonna be anything to see yeah, anything, i didn't so. i didn't bother to be honest either with the because yeah the same reasons really it's absolutely torrential rain when we would when we were racing, I don't know about you, what sort of conditions did you have? It was kind of like torrential rain um, until about 1k in and then it was just the wind. Um, so it actually ended up being okay. Like I wasn't soaked by the end. It was more just like muddy. Um, yeah. yeah, no, the conditions were far from ideal and we were on like an airfield sort of area, like by Brands Hatch, you know, the race circuit. Um, and yeah, so it's so open and there's no escape in the wind really. And I ran the whole thing pretty much by myself. So I led the first kind of 200 meters because no one wanted to go past me i wasn't running quick at all i was sticking to my pace and everyone was yeah. behind me and i was getting a bit worried um and then 14 guys went past me and i sat in 15th for 95 percent of the race and then took over three on the last lap so um it's pretty pretty simple like race kind of events really it didn't really nothing really happened yeah. similar for me really i sort of started a bit more conservative because the last time i i did a cross country i sort of went out hard and found myself in first place and i was like 
I definitely shouldn't be here. I didn't feel comfortable in that. And then like a whole swarm of people came past me at the previous one. So I was like, that sort of it almost not my confidence having that amount of people just pass you on the first lap. I felt like I was going backwards. So today I saw I went for a bit more of a conservative approach. Um, and I think I was probably around 30th when the when the gum went. And then after the first few hills, I started to work my th- way through. Um, I think after the first lap, I was probably in about uh, between somewhere between 10 and 15. And there was a good like second pack of us. Um, the front people had all sort of gone. We could still see them, but um, and yeah, and then slowly worked my way through the the pack and came, finished eighth. I think um, David from my club came seventh. So it was nice to work with someone I, I knew who was a similar sort of level with as me. And we yeah worked together and, and finished pretty strong. So I was happy with that. Yeah, brilliant stuff. How how um how far are your kind of your like Essex League ones? And did you feel like there was a massive jump up to the to the like the, the champs distance? With the Essex League, there've been eight k. Um, this one was meant to be ten k, but it was nine point five. I think they're always a little bit short or long, or they get the measurements a little bit strange, don't they, with these cross countries? But um, yeah, in terms of the, I think it was about the same in terms of um who was there. With our like Essex League ones, for some reason we get a load of um, runners from Cambridge come and do it, um, and they always take the first two or three spots because they're, they're really really strong club. Um, so obviously they weren't there today. So I think that's probably why I came a little bit higher than I did in in previous leagues. But um, yeah, strong field. I think a guy from South End won it called Tom Firth. Um, no, I have, not heard, I heard of him. I think in my race, the the front six were still all together with like two hundred to go, and then I think a couple of them stacked it, and then it was just a sprint for the finish. It was really competitive wow. today. Um, I didn't really expect it to be that competitive. I thought over twelve k that people would just yeah. completely melt away and just die, but I think maybe yeah. the slow start, everyone was just really not like, like conservative. So, um, but yeah. I definitely felt the uh, the jump up from our Kent League eight k to twelve and a half k in the end. Um, yeah, so, okay. Are you doing I, the Southerns in a few weeks' time? I am. I am uh, booked yeah. in uh, Be- Beckenham Park. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I won't be there, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, I have booked in. I've booked for Nationals as well, Parliament Hill. Um, yeah. I think they're both going to be more of like a a fun, Experience. like I'm not going to go into it going, I want to get top 50 or, or whatever. It's going to be a much more yeah. fun experience. Yeah, definitely. So, um, but yeah, no, I don't, know, I don't know how you would rate your day, but I've had a, a bar the weather, I've had a pretty, pretty fantastic day. So I'm really chuffed with it. Yeah, pretty good for me as well. Well, yeah, thanks for jumping on with me. I thought it would be nice to do a little sort of insight into how, how it is in Kent. So for everyone watching, um, go and watch watch Cole's video. I'll leave a link to yours in the description below. Um, you can go check out how, how the Kent um, cross country compares to the S6. It's hard on. And yeah, hopefully, <laughs> if not this <laughs> year, next year, we, we can meet at the um, the inter-counties. So there we go. That summarises today's cross-country race. Really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, as always, aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you with another race vlog in exactly two weeks' time at the Essex League um, in Ilford, I believe. But yeah, until then, um, plenty more videos coming in the next few days. But yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.